guys, it's me, and today I'm going to be doing my review and demo on the MAC Face and Body Foundation. I'm doing this foundation first out of the review series, um, because it is my absolute favourite MAC foundation ever. My favourite foundation, hands down, no matter where I go or what I do. This cupboard is going to bug me. Sorry. And I just want to say that if you're going to buy any foundation, whether it be MAC or any other brand, this is the one I highly, highly recommend. So as you can see, I have all my notes and I have my foundation. There will be the demo at the end of the video. Um, I got dressed, obviously, afterwards, but yeah. So first of all, this is the bottle that it, I have. You do get two sizes of this. It comes in 120 ml, which is the one I have. And then it has a 50 ml, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes, and a 50 ml bottle. So I have used this foundation plenty, plenty, and I must say it is my absolute favorite foundation. Please excuse my lips, I have naturally very skew lips, and when I tried to fix them today, it just went able. so this is the best I could do. Anyway, so the shade range that MAC has to offer for this foundation is fairly good. There's a total of seven shades, a mixture of warm and cool tone shades as well, but the best thing about this is you also get a pure white, oh, this beanie. Today is not a good day. You get a pure white shade, so if you have very, very fair skin, you are able to change your foundation or manipulate the foundation using that product. Let's just fix this quick. I'm going to edit that out. Okay, so that is one of the things I do love about this. And not only with that... Alrighty then. Not only with that white one you can use for face and body, but you can ma manipulate any foundation so if you are a freelance makeup artist it is absolutely perfect for you another thing is they have a good decent sized bottles they have two options for you you can either get the big bottle which is 120 mils or you can get the small one like I said which was 50 mils so they have a good option range for you um, as for coverage it is very very sheer but very buildable I generally do one layer and that's me done. I am wearing it today, which you'll see in the review and demo, or in the demo part of the review. It also allows you to choose your desired coverage. So if you're someone who doesn't have many issues with your skin, kind of just want an even layer, you want to even out your skin tone, it's hundreds, just slap on one layer and you're good to go. If you are someone who needs a little extra coverage, maybe not all over your face, but in specific areas, you can um, build up that coverage in that one area. It allows your skin to look very natural and skin-like. Obviously it doesn't cover up, if it's not a full coverage foundation, it's never going to be a full coverage foundation. But it does allow you to build the coverage to your desire. Um, it covers up scarring and acne, acne, really, acne very, very well. I do myself have scarring and acne skin. So I do find that it covers those up perfectly. This is the foundation I wear almost on a daily basis. If I'm not wearing this, I'm wearing a tinted sunblock or a tinted moisturizer, which is pretty much the same concept, just it has sunscreen in it. Um, it also covers discoloration extremely well. I know for clients who have hyperpigmentation or hyperpigmentation, it works very well. For those who have um, slightly patchier skin, it works hundreds. Evens out the skin tone out. It evens out. What? It evens skin tone out flawlessly. With that being said, you live with a flawless canvas that is perfect, and it still looks like skin, which is the one thing I do love the most about this foundation. You don't feel it on your skin. It doesn't feel like wearing foundation. It is amazing. The feel for the foundation itself. Sorry, it's uncomfortable. It is very runny and watery, so it is a water-based foundation. So when you go to go apply it, let me show you out the bottle. Sorry, my bottle is dirty because I did just use it. As you can see on the lid there, it is extremely runny and water-like. As you can see there, but the minute you go to go apply it, it starts to thicken up and build up. You can feel the texture of the foundation changing as you go to go build it up. Um... It is amazing, it's my, like I said, my favorite foundation. It is very, very lightweight. No matter how many layers you actually apply, you can apply seven layers and it's gonna be lightweight. I remember I had a fairly bad patch over here and I applied and applied and applied, hundreds. It was perfect, it didn't look uneven. Ooh, my big yours. It didn't look uneven anywhere or anything like that. Um, 
it dries to a semi matte on the more drier skin and it dries more dewy on a combination to oily skin and it does not cling onto dry patches. When I have eczema that breaks out, I can apply this foundation and not worry about it clinging onto that area and looking more noticeable or prominent, you know? The way it is extremely long wearing, I mean, you can wear this foundation all day and all night, not have to touch it up. You know, you may have to powder if you have fairly oily skin, but other than that, it's fine. You can touch it, it doesn't transfer its hundreds. It is water resistant, and when I say water resistant, it is water resistant. I actually went swimming once with this on. Um, obviously, I don't really wear makeup when I'm going to go swimming, but I wore makeup and then decided to go swimming later on in the day, and it didn't budge. I wiped my face, I did all of that kind of thing. You're not going to get out of the water and you go, that kind of dramatic thing. I did that and it worked hundreds, it didn't really go away, it didn't become patchy. All it really did, it had a really nice, nice light sheer to the skin and just even down everything it does not transfer when they say it does not transfer it does not transfer obviously if you put a powder over the powder will transfer but i have one foundation by itself and i've hugged someone you know when you can see some, sometimes your makeup goes on like clothes or whatever or your line a pillow or whatever it doesn't transfer like that at all you do not need a primer with this foundation or powder if you prefer the more satin finish if you have extremely oily skin, I really, really recommend a primer. I will go into some primers for you now. Um, but it also works amazing with a primer. I do personally wear a primer with it um, and powder with it, just because I do have oily skin, so I find that's the best bet for me. The claims from MAC, now I'm going to read this direct, what it says on the internet, to provide a low to medium buildable coverage and a flawless natural satin shine finish, skin conditioning, water resistant and long wearing. It 100% lives up to every single one of her claims. And if I could add a claim in, the claim would be that the product lasts forever. This bottle alone I've had for almost a year now. And you can barely see I've used it. I did used to use purely the smaller bottles. Only because to get this bottle I have to go quite far and wide, like out of my way, to a different Mac store. So when I went there I did pick it up there. But that's just kind of the thing. Um... But even the small bottle I had for about a year and it was fine and I use it every single day. It is best applied with your hands because the heat of your hands actually thickens and warms the foundation. If you're someone who does not like using your hands, I do not use my hands on a daily basis because I always forget to wash them afterwards. And then you go and like touch your pants or touch something and you're like, uh oh, I just now got foundation everywhere else. So for me, the best brushes to use is the MAC 190. I have a powder. Oh, do you want to know what I did? Let me tell you. I was decanting some loose powder from a big thing into a little thing and I dropped the little thing after I filled it up. Now there is just powder everywhere. Don't you hate it when that happens? So the best brushes, I'm just going to show you three of the brushes I prefer to use. There are so many. My hands are my favourite by far. But the MAC 190 brush, which is just a flat paddle brush, very simple to apply. This is good, not the best. If you prefer a smaller type of paddle brush, this is an angled one. Um, this is the MAC 193, also amazing. And then they also have the 191 brush, which I do not have with me in my chair. That is also amazing. It's just like a flat, squarish brush. It's really similar to those. But one of my favorites is the 130 brush from MAC. And you kind of just buff this in with your, fi oh, with your face. Stupid. You buff it in with the brush in circular motions and it works hundreds. This is the brush I use in the demo just because it's the one that I clean. Obviously all my brushes are dirty at the moment, but that is that. Um, as for sponges, I do not recommend using a sponge. The sponge is gonna soak up all that product. You're gonna be left with almost no product for your face. I do, although with saying that, take a, sp excuse, it's dirty, it is white. Take the sponge afterwards and just make sure there's no streaks or lines. I just kind of pat it over my skin and that's that done. Another really good brush, which I do not have with me, oh, lies, I cleaned it even, I cleaned it yesterday, I do not use this brush often, I like to use this brush with certain foundations, I find it best with, but this is the Smashbox 3 and, oh, I love the smell of clean brushes, Smashbox 3 in 1 brush, which is a lot like the MAC one that I love for this foundation, but quadruple the size, 
Um, and this one you can kind of alternate for your desired look um, or coverage that you want. So I do really love this brush for that as well. And this is perfect if you're the I'm so stupid. I can't talk. I need help. This is perfect if you're traveling because it has a lid. Woo! Dropping everything. The value for the foundation, it is definitely worth the money. Um, it comes in two sizes, like I said, the 50 more and the 120 more. The price is 100% on point. It is not overly priced at all. A lot of people see MAC prices and they think, <gasps> but the value for money, this product lasts forever. I mean, I use this product almost every single day, if not every single day. Or I mix it in with other foundations, just shear them out a little bit. Haven't even made a dent. Um... The small bottle I have here last around eight months. I did have one for a year once, but I did also use other foundations in between a lot more. The large bottle has lasted me around 18 months or more, depending on how many other foundations I use in between. This is a hands down if this is hands down my favorite foundation ever. I have repurchased this about five times now, um, and I absolutely love it. And it is absolutely amazing for everyday wear all year round. You can wear it summer, winter, any time of the year. And it is absolutely perfect. Obviously now I'm going into winter and I'm ghostly pale. So it is a tad bit dark but I generally have a scarf on so you can't really notice it. As for powders and primers, that's what we're going to go into now for this foundation. I highly, highly recommend um, a couple primers. So the, I'm going to give you some options obviously. And these are like my top primers I like for this foundation. One being, this is a Smashbox one. I do really, really enjoy this. I'm not mad. See, the thing with this is that really bugs me. Is if I, I wear sunscreen every day. When I wear sunscreen and I put this on, because it's so silicone-y. I don't even think that's a word. It almost doesn't sink into my skin with a sunblock. So I don't tend to use this very often. I'll use this when I'm going out at night and I don't need to wear sunblock. But that is a good primer if you do not want to buy a MAC one. Obviously I have the rest of MAC. My favourite one that I use every time I wear this foundation is the MAC Matte Cream. Whoa! Either this one or I will use this one here which is the Natural Radiance Base. This one I use by itself standalone hundreds. Absolutely amazing. This is the yellow one. It just helps with the redness. And then with the matte cream, if I'm not wearing that one and I'm wearing these two put together, this is an illuminating base and this is just a matte one. Put the matte one in my T-zone and this all over my face. For the demo, I did use these two though. As for powder, I highly, highly recommend the MAC Studio Fix um, foundation. This is a foundation, it is not just a powder. So this is going to give Whoa, gonna give you coverage or you can use a normal loose translucent powder if you just want to set it and do an extra coverage but I do use this every time as for concealer if you need the concealer you can use any concealer you wish I do love this one with it though this is the MAC studio finish concealer I love that it's a little bit more thick so there's a extremely <sighs> if I have an extremely problematic area I do like to use this one just for that extra bit of coverage Right, so that is actually it for the video. I do want to mention though, once you have applied your foundation and you go in with like your blush and your bronze and your highlight and all that kind of stuff, even if you don't powder your face, you can still get a very nice, clean, beautiful finish with powders on top of it. It doesn't kind of alter your bronzes or your blushes or anything like that. And it is absolutely fantastic and highly, highly recommended. So guys, with that all being said, that is the review and demo done. Obviously the demo is going to be straight after this. But I do want to thank you all so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And please stay tuned to see the rest of the MAC Foundations review and demos. I will be doing all the foundations, all the primers, all the concealers and all the powders that they do offer and sell. I will have a video up just before this explaining the whole series. Um, but yeah, I do love this foundation and do yourself a favor and go and get yourself a tester or try out the product. You will not be disappointed. I have extremely oily skin. Or well, actually very extremely con confusing skin. I have extremely oily skin but dehydrated with eczema. Stupid, I know. But that's how my skin is. And that's why when I have foundations, I can't just have one. And if I was to just have one, this would be the one. This one I can use for my skin all year round, all times. 
This beanie is just not working for me today. <sighs> My gosh. So yeah, I'm going to go to some reviews on other ones quickly. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making the video. And I want to get out there how amazing this product is. And do yourself a favor, just go check it out. You know, you don't have to buy the bottle. Get yourself a taster, try it out, see what you think. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And please, 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 please. Guys, I have a goal by the end of this year. I know it's a long way away, but it's a realistic goal. I want to get to at least 200 subscribers. So if you would like, please, please, please spread the word about my channel. Let other people know about my channel. Let me know what you think about my channel. And let me know if you have a channel or a YouTube or a Instagram or a Twitter or whatever that I can follow and subscribe and keep in touch with you on as well. Thumbs up for this video, please. It helps a lot. And I'll see you all so, so soon. I have tons of videos coming up. I have pre-recorded a couple. I have a back to school one coming up. I've got tons in the making. And right now we are on point with this electricity. I've gotten into the loop of kind of finding my feet with this whole juicy issue but stay tuned guys love you lots bye